all remember that horribly irresponsible thing Dumbledore did when he approved a student using a time turner in order to take more classes. Mysterious thing, time. Powerful. And when meddled with, dangerous. You know, giving a teenager the use of time manipulation because Hermione's never abused magic before or used it for her own selfish ends. And you may argue, well, Rist, it was actually Professor McGonagall that gave Hermione the time turner. Let's, let's just be honest with each other. This type of irresponsible behavior just reeks a Dumbledore. Don't deny it. And while I'd love to argue time travel and why Dumbledore is actually a piece of shit, let's ignore all that and talk about the horrible incident that resulted in the Ministry of Magic cracking down on the study of time travel. It ends in a lot of deaths. Our story takes place in 1899 with the Department of Mysteries, a section in the Ministry of Magic that carries out confidential research, mostly in total secrecy. Honestly, one of the coolest sections of the Ministry. This department was studying time travel, which was all well and good, until it wasn't. 1899 is when their last experiment of traveling back in time for more than a few hours took place. And for good reason. In fact, this event is what led to the rule that you could only stay in the past for five hours or less at a time, as they learned that any more could cause damage to the time traveler or time itself. And you would do well, I feel, to return before this last chime. If not, the consequences are too ghastly to discuss. So let's learn the horrible thing that happened to make that a rule. Miss Mintumble, and unspeakable what workers in the Department of Mysteries are called, in 1899 was sent to the year 1402 during a time travel experiment. An exciting study until the woman was stuck five days in the past, and as you probably know, five days is much longer than five hours, and the result was... horrific. While it isn't known what she did while stranded back in 1402, she did interact with some people, likely for survival or as part of her study. This act of simply interacting with those in the past for so long would damn them all in the end. So Mintumble was stuck for five days, but eventually was saved. When she was finally retrieved to the present, time did its damage on her rapidly. The woman aged five centuries, and despite being brought to a magical hospital, the damage to her body was too great, and she died. Not many people can survive aging centuries rapidly, even with magic. But it wouldn't have been so bad if she would have just died, as terrible as that sounds. Her being in the past for so long created a devastating, rippling effect. The Tuesday following her return lasted two and a half full days, and the Thursday shot by in the space of four hours. However, the worst part is her time travel experience killed others in a terrible way. Being back for so long caused a massive disturbance in the life paths of all she met. This massive disturbance changed the present time she was from so greatly, at least 25 of the descendants of people she had interacted with in the past vanished in the present, essentially being unborn. Which is terrifying to think about. Some woman time travels that you never met, and now you stopped existing. And there is a story that isn't related to this where a man performing on stage suddenly disappeared that's suspected to be caused by a similar tampering with time. Again, terrifying to think someone could erase you from existence, which means the lives of everyone you touch are also changed. The Ministry of Magic, of course, had to cover up the devastating event, and it was considerable effort to do so. From there, they decided to put stricter rules on the study of time travel and on time travel in general. Of course, it was still okay to give a hormonal teenager <laughs> the use of a time manipulation device. So if you're one of those people unborn from this incident, let me know how unlife is working for you. And if you aren't one of those people, argue down below how that sentence doesn't make sense. Oh, and like and subscribe.